Intel is working with the American Red Cross, the Missing Maps Project, and Mila to bring digital mapping to Uganda. The Santa Clara, California-based chipmaker announced at CES 2020 the collaboration is using artificial intelligence to help identify previously unmapped bridges, roads, and even cities on satellite images from Uganda. Intel's AI Platforms Group product manager Matt Beal told CRN, Unfortunately, you know, while a place like the United States has excellent maps, you can just go to Google Maps, a lot of the uh, developing world has really poor maps or no maps in many cases. Which means that first responders lack necessary information to make fast decisions regarding relief efforts. Efforts like the Missing Maps Project, put together by humanitarian organizations, including the American Red Cross, rely on volunteers to help fill in the blanks of undermapped areas by gathering geographical data. Even so, current mapping methods are time-consuming and require a lot of resources. Right now, the Red Cross relies primarily on human volunteers. And independently, we knew that Intel AI researchers were working on AI and satellite imagery. So it seemed like there was this great opportunity to take that research and see how we could augment the Red Cross's work. Fast forward to 2019, the American Red Cross, its Missing Maps Project, and Intel are using AI to map vulnerable populations in need of disaster planning and emergency response. So that's what we've done over the past year or so, is see how we can work with the Red Cross, first in Uganda, to identify bridges, and you know essentially help map out the vulnerabilities in the transportation infrastructure there using artificial intelligence. Not replacing humans, but figuring out how to augment them. Intel told CRN, satellite images can be challenging to read, but with the help of an AI model, mappers are able to cover more ground and catch things that may be difficult for the human eye to find. For example, the model found 70 bridges in southern Uganda that had been missing in previous maps. Once we had the trained models, we needed to run them at you know, essentially countrywide scale. It, the advantage of this is to be able to do what would take a human hundreds of hours in seconds or minutes. And so we ran these trained models on second generation Intel scalable Xeon processors. And so that means that you can run inference really, really rapidly even on a general purpose Xeon processor. Reporting for CRN TV, I'm Jennifer Zarate.